What's up, Sun Rays? Welcome back to the channel. It's Ray. If you're new here, welcome. Today I am going to be doing a twist out and I am going to be using the Baskin Bloom Mango Caster Twisting Cream for thick, coarse hair. So I have tried Baskin Bloom once. Um, it's new, so I'm just opening this. I tried it once, but I used the Twirly, I believe, um, and I had never gotten around to the twisting cream, so I wanted to give it a try and go ahead and revisit the Baskin Bloom again. I don't know, it don't have that great of a smell. Um, maybe once I start applying it off and melting it, I'll smell the mango. But right now I don't so I'm going to just go ahead and clip my hair out of the way if you're wondering why my hair is stretched because I just did a video using the Rev Air for the first time and I stretched my hair so that is why so now I'm going to try to do a twist out on stretched hair using this mango butter and I'm gonna try to do actually I think I'm gonna do um, a braid out y'all know I don't like braid outs because they take too long but just to do something a little bit different I'm gonna do them chunky so I'm gonna do two over here so I can just kind of hurry and get it done and have it just a little bit bigger but I'm doing the braid out because I think it'll stay a little tighter and therefore give me a little bit more definition especially since my hair is not wet so the other reason why I'm doing this too is because I used a very light leave-in for this blowout and so I just want to add some a little bit of extra moisture to my hair it doesn't feel dry at all it feels very uh, flowy actually but I think this will help just give it some moisture I don't know if that was too much or not but that is what I'm using I'm gonna get my little ends here. I mean, my edges. And then I'm just going to braid. And hopefully, because I don't, I won't do so many. It won't take me so long to get it, take it down. You know, that's my big thing with braid outs. It's not actually braiding. It's, it's actually the takedown. It, the, the takedown takes forever. Ooh, and my hair is reverting. This is definitely reverting my hair. And we don't want that. Gotta do it quicker. So it doesn't revert. You know what? I think I am going to put rides on the ends. Or, you know, I'll just twist it. I'll just twist it the ends for now if I decide to add rods on it I will but I think I'm just gonna twist it all right let's do this one so guys tell me have you used this mango twisting butter from Baskin Bloom do you like it You know what? What I do know is it doesn't smell sweet at all. It doesn't smell like mango. It doesn't smell like a fruit. It smells like a hair product. So I will say that I don't know if that means mine is old. Because um, I have had it. But that's why I'm trying to use it because I have had it and I don't want it to go bad. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't stink. It just smells like a hair product. It doesn't smell. I was uh, expecting it to smell sweet and mango-y and like, oh, this smells good, but it doesn't. Sorry guys, if y'all heard the garage door, my son is leaving. Let me see where he's going. He got his fishing pole. I'm like, he gonna fish? So, yeah, hold on. Where are you going? 
Fish or a clay? From football. With who? Myself. AJ, you don't like fishing like that. It. It's peaceful down here. It ain't peaceful here? I ain't said nothing to you. Clear your mind. Look at the water. I ain't said nothing to you. It's peaceful watching the water flow past you. What's wrong with, what's, uh, what's on your mind? You need all that peace. Nothing. I can't just go and <laughs> by myself by the water. Yeah, you can. I, you was on the phone talking to somebody. I saw you when you closed the garage door. I'm looking and you look back like you had that fishing boat walking. I said, what in the heck? Who you meet? Who you meeting down there? I ain't meeting nobody. I'm down here by myself. Is that pole even working? Yeah, my pole working. All right. How hot is it out there? All right. Huh? It's all right. Did you eat anything, AJ? No. You know you're bad about not eating. You got a water bottle? I ain't about to be down here for like 30 minutes. It don't take that long to have a heat stroke. Okay. All right. All right. Bring us some fish back. Bye. 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 He's so crazy, he going fishing by himself. Got about as peaceful down there by the water. I'm making them chunky guys, I'm making them chunky cause I don't wanna have a whole lot of them to take out. Kinda kinda crooked. Never get to do chunky twist uh, braid outs or twist outs usually, especially when it's wet because my hair is so thick and it causes it to be real puffy at the root. So I'm glad it's kind of straightened out now, some stretch, so I can do them a little bit thicker, bigger. And I have to have so many. And hopefully it'll be dry by tomorrow. The only thing on my hair is this cream. So we're going to see. I just hope my husband don't want to go nowhere today when he gets home from work. Anyway, I'm just mumbling, guys. Twist it. All right, guys. So I'm just going to do this all the way around my head. And I'll be back when... All the braids are in. All right, guys, I'm on the last braid. Took me longer to braid this than I thought. It's gonna take me longer to take it down too, but that's okay. I don't do a lot of braid out, so I just thought that I would. I actually wanted to do a, did I show you guys in a vlog? The, they're the things that you put on your hair, waveformers. Can't remember if I showed you the waveformers or not. But I had gotten some waveformers a while back and I haven't had a chance to use them. And I think I said in a vlog maybe that I wanted to use those. So I kind of wanted to do it when I stretched my hair. But because it's late in the day, I just thought that this would be quicker. I didn't want to try to do waveformers. I definitely didn't want to sleep in them. And I don't feel like getting under the dryer after, um, you know, drying my hair with the red air that gives heat but not a lot but it does do heat I didn't want to turn around and sit under the hair dryer either so I just thought maybe I should just say I'll change it up do a braid out let it just kind of air dry but anyway guys that's it so I think I have 12 braids I think I have one two three in the back so that's six three on each side that's six two over here that's eight 9 10 11 12 and four over here so I got 12 braids in my hair and I'm going to let them air dry and I'll be back for the take down. So stay tuned. Okay guys, I am back and it is actually three days later. I usually come back two days later, but yeah, I left it up. So I'm not sure how it's gonna be cause I can see some frizz already on the ends. And because I used a cream 
on my hair and my hair was dry. Of course, the coils frizzed out a little bit. They didn't stay as well as they would if I had coiled my hair on wet hair, if you know what I'm saying. So anyway, we're gonna take that into account, but I'm gonna go ahead and start taking down these braids and I didn't do a lot of braids so I'm hoping they don't take me forever y'all know I, that's what I hate about braid outs is the takedown it takes a while but that didn't take long and I think it's because it's on dry hair I think it takes longer when it's doing on wet hair for some reason I don't know anyway that's my take on it I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and when I get all the braids out I'll come back so stay tuned So I'm taking down my last braid and I will say that my hair feels very moisturized even though I used the light leave-in which was the Texture ID spray leave-in and then I just went in with the mango caster twisting cream to twist my hair after I blew it out. So this is what my hair looks like. It's very soft so there is no noticeable hold on my hair. Um, and I only just took the braids out. I haven't fluffed it or anything. I am gonna fluff it enough to try to get this part out of the back of my head, but I'm not gonna try to do too much more than that because it is such a soft hold. Also, we are getting ready to leave and go out and it is humid today. So we're gonna see how this hair holds up in the humidity. And I got a feeling it's probably not gonna hold up too well just because it is a soft hold. It is on blown out hair and I just used a twisting cream. I don't have like a gel or anything like that holding the hair in place. So I'm going to just pull apart once. Just to give it a little bit more but that one time look look it already looked like it's fluffing it too much so yeah I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do too much more than that and then I'm going to do this side once the big clumps I'm just pulling apart once just to kind of try to get rid of the part and the noticeable separation and clumps. Ooh, that side frizzed out a lot. But like I said, it is humid today, so I got a funny feeling I'm going to have an afro by the end of the day. These little bangs are doing what they want to do. Okay. Just trying to get that part out. Give a little bit of height. I'm gonna turn around and let you guys see the back. I don't know what it looks like. Hopefully I got the part out. <sighs> Not bad, it'll do for today. But like I said, I don't think 
I don't know if it's gonna hold up to the humidity. I'll try to get back on when I get home tonight just to kind of show you how it held up. So for me, this is for thick, coarse hair. It is moisturizing. I do feel a little bit of oils on my hands. So um, I do wanna let you know that it's not too much. It's not more than I like, cause y'all know I don't really like my hair to feel oily, but it's not one of those ones where um, at least not on this dry hair and I didn't use a lot of it either, but it, it's not overbearing. So that's great. I, um, I can't speak for how this would work on wet hair and then twisting it up. I'm thinking it probably would work a lot better because the water in the hair is going to help to set the curls. They're going to dry in that set where my hair was already dry. So I will say that, but for dry hair, it did what it was supposed to do. It gave me you know, some definition um, or whatever. So if you want a light, fluffy hold, a light, fluffy braid out or twist out on dry hair, then I'd say pick it up, give it a try. But I will, like I said, I'll come back later and let you know if I feel like it uh, lasts through, you know, the humidity and the things that we're gonna do today. Sorry guys, I'm still separating. I'm sorry, I said I was gonna separate once, but those clumps, I can feel them, and so they make me feel like I need to pull them apart. But anyway, so this is my hair. Tell me what you think. Also, if you wanna know how I stretch my hair, I use my new Rev Air. I did a review on it, I'll link it here. I think it's worth it, guys. I will say that in that video, I used the Maui Moisture Bamboo Fibers Blowout Mist. Um, and my mistake, this is not the heat protectant. I do have another my Maui Moisture heat protectant that I used the last time and I got them mixed up. This is actually a volumizer. So, so that's why this side of my hair had a little bit more volume than this side where I use the Mega Silk and I said I like this better as a heat protectant. Well, that's because this is a volumizer. If your hair is thin and you want more volume, then I would say put a heat protectant on and then spray this on and blow out your hair to give you a little bit more volume and thickness. This is supposed to thicken the hair because it has bamboo fibers in it. So it's supposed to make your hair um, look and appear thicker. So that's what that is. I just wanted to clarify that. But yeah, this is it guys. Um, real easy. You guys know I'm just doing my regular summer routine. So I just have on my Today I have on the Tarte Tinted Moisturizer, which I talked about in my last vlog. I also have on my Milani Bronzer, and I just have on the Thrive Cosmetics um, Mascara, and I have on the Merit Lip Oil Gloss, and I believe this is, um, I believe this is taupe. But I'll put it all in the uh, description box. I'm just saying it now so I'll remember. So when I'm editing, I'll remember what I have on. But nothing, basically, I'm looking very natural. And yeah, that's what I want for today. Because like I said, it's gloomy. We're just going to get out and do some lunch real quick. And um, I think get some ice cream or something like that. And then we'll be back. But yeah, guys, that is it for now. Um, stay tuned for to see how this holds up. But okay guys, I am back. It's seven o'clock in the evening and this is my hair. So as you can see, it has poofed up quite a bit. We were outside, so it definitely doesn't hold up to the humidity really well. But you know, it didn't do too bad. Where I didn't separate the ends, they're still pretty clumped. So for me, that tells me Maybe if I did it again, not to separate so much and just let it be, but it's still very soft and I can rock with this. I don't mind big hair. I actually like big hair, but if you don't and you need your hair to last, then again, I wouldn't necessarily use this on dry hair or if I did, I would use this as the moisturizer and then I would top it with um, maybe the twirly, maybe top it with the twirly hair gel to give it a little bit more hold. That may work, I'm not sure. Or maybe top it with just your favorite gel or mousse that may give you a little bit more um, longevity. But yeah, it's the same day and this is it. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you did. 
give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.